clean the venipuncture site with an antiseptic pad following the manufacturer's instructions. If using chlorhexidine apply using a back and forth scrubbing motion for at least 30 seconds and allow it to dry completely. Don't palpate the site again to avoid transfer of microorganism to the venipuncture site. If palpation is necessary put on a sterile glove. If you're also drawing blood for other laboratory tests, draw blood for culture before drawing the sample for other tests. Perform a venipuncture using a straight or a winged needle and discard the initial volume 1 to 5 milliliters of the blood sample, if directed by your facility to prevent induction of contaminant organisms contained on the skin. Then draw a quantity of blood that is sufficient for isolating organisms 20 to 30 milliliters. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations for the blood sample volume required per collection bottle. Immediately release the tourniquet, if used, when blood begins to flow into the collection container. Divide the blood by injecting the appropriate amount into each culture bottle using a needleless transfer device to ensure the most accurate culture results. Label the culture bottles with the patient's name and identification number, the date and time of specimen collection and the contents of the culture bottles in the presence of the patient to prevent mislabeling. Considering mentioning what antibiotics the patient is on if applicable, invert the bottles 8 to 10 times gently to mix the blood adequately with the medium inside the bottles. Stop all infusions for a designated period of time depending on the patient's condition. Research hasn't established the length of time for stopping fluid flow. One study suggests a wait time of 10 minutes after stopping the fusion before obtaining the sample. Clamp the catheter to prevent accidental exposure to blood and to reduce the risk of air embolism. Change the needless connector. Perform a vigorous mechanical scrub of the needleless connector for at least 5 seconds using an antiseptic pad. Allow it to dry. If you're also drawing blood for other laboratory tests, draw blood for culture before drawing the sample for other tests. Maintaining sterility of the syringe tip, connect the empty syringe to the catheter, release the clamp and withdraw a quantity of blood that is sufficient for isolating organisms, 20 to 30 milliliters, follow the manufacturer's recommendations for the blood sample volume required per collection bottle. Don't discard the first drawn blood, this is the blood sample that you'll be injecting into the culture bottle. If you found this content helpful, please don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us develop more material like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.